What is up guys? Welcome back to another reaction. And today we are reacting to the most offensive jokes ever. Yeah, ever. Originally I had the idea to come in here and react to Jimmy Carr's top 20 most offensive jokes. I looked all over the place. I have no idea where the video is. I looked everywhere for like 20 minutes. If anybody has a link to it, please send it to me because I can't find it. That was like the one video like everybody wanted me to react to and I just never got around to it. And as soon as I come in here and do it, I can't even find the video. What the heck? So I got to looking around a little bit and I found this video. It's titled The Most Offensive Jokes Ever. So. <laughs> and I came down here to the description and there's a bunch of Frankie Boyle, a bunch of Jimmy Carr. And then there's some other guys like Jim Jeffries, uh, Sharon Horgan. I've never heard of them. But for the most part, it's the boys Frankie Boyle and Jimmy Carr. So I figured, hey, it's got to be pretty offensive. These guys are pretty good at what they do. So we're about to find out. But before we do, I have a huge announcement. Some of you might have noticed already, but if you go to my channel next to the subscribe button, there is a blue button that says join. That is the button to officially join the JT Reacts channel membership. But you will only see the blue little button next to the subscribe button if you're on a computer. So if you're on your mobile device, a tablet, your phone, whatever there is a link at the top of the description that you can go to and it'll take you directly to the membership sign up so yeah click the blue button if you're on like a computer or something but if you're on your phone hit that link in the description i wanted to start the membership here on the channel for a long time and i finally got around to doing it if you don't know what the memberships are it's basically going to be like my third channel the video ideas i have for the memberships bro they're going to be so fun it's going to be so fire basically you can hit that button you can sign up and become a member of the channel you'll get exclusive videos exclusive live streams exclusive posts when you you sign up you get this little badge next to your username so that way i know you're a member and you also get customized emojis that you can use here on the channel and on live streams and stuff and a bunch of other perks i'm gonna do daily member shout outs here on the videos i just can't wait to share with y'all some of the videos i have planned for the membership like i'm talking drunk reactions yeah, yeah, you're gonna see me sit here, throw back a couple drinks, and watch a video and try to stay awake. <laughs> we're gonna do story times, we're gonna do full episode reactions, so like, I've had a lot of people want me to react to the episodes of Only Fools and Horses. That's where we're gonna do it on the channel membership, we're gonna do full episode reactions. We're gonna do a bunch of try not to laugh, try not to get scared, uh, you laugh, you drink. Basically, there's gonna be a lot of drinking. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm telling you, the videos are going to be fire. They're going to be so fun. So if you want to join the JT Reacts channel membership, all you got to do is click that blue button and sign up. And if we hit 1,000 members before my birthday, September 26th, I have a very special video that I just got planned only for the members and only if we hit 1,000 members before my birthday. Bro, I'm telling you, I, it's going to be so fun. You're not going to want to miss it. So hit that blue button. Join the channel membership. I appreciate you guys so much. Now, let's get into this reaction. Bro, I have to wipe the sweat off of my water bottle. Every day. Every day I'm in here. This is what I do. Wipe the sweat off because it get dang condensation. Whatever. <laughs> the most offensive jokes ever. I love this title, bro. <laughs> The answer is three billion. What is the question? Is it what is the excess on Richard Hammond's car insurance? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's probably not funny for any mildly autistic people in the audience. <laughs> then again, nothing is. <laughs> Who is that? Number two, Tim Minchin? Wow. Wow, Tim. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Is ill-advised things to say in court. Oh, God. The case for the prosecution is based on one compelling piece of evidence. The defendant is black. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my. Bro. Bro. This video might get taken down. Bro. <laughs> describes the Dostoevsky metro station with its depressing murals as the mecca for suicides. Not to be confused with the mecca for suicide bombers, <laughs> which is mecca. <laughs> according to the Times... If I, if I wanted to sit around watching people open empty boxes all day, I'd spend Christmas morning at Kerry Katona's house. Dang. Uh, on likely lines to read in the Bible. Oh, gosh. The characters in this book are entirely fictitious. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be something like that, bro. Come on. <laughs> you know why so many American kids die in high school massacres? It's because they're not allowed to run in the corridors. <laughs> Take your time with that, that's wrong on a number of levels. 
I mean, he's not wrong. There's any Muslim fundamentalists in the room, right? You see this microphone? I'm calling it Muhammad, right? And it's fucking gay. It's a gay microphone called Muhammad, and all it wants to do is roll the Quran up and fuck itself up the ass. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> for me, the luckiest guy in the world, Jack Tweed, Jane Goody's old boyfriend. I haven't fucking done it yet. Because <laughs> he presumably made some money out of selling his story. Got plenty of sympathy sex, apparently consensual. Doesn't have to bring up the kids, they're somebody else's kids. And because she died from cervical cancer during the three weeks that they were married, she got thinner and better looking and her pussy got tighter. Listen, listen, I, I, I've, I've almost had enough of this man. This man, bro, I thought Frankie Boyle was going to be like the, the entry level of like UK comedian. No, no, this, th he's on, I don't, there's, I don't even know the level this man is on. Bro, this is, this is getting ridiculous at this point. Oh my goodness. Before the cancer, she'll have had a fanny like a canoe. <laughs> you don't have no to finger her getting in roar. <laughs> a lot of guys on dates going, this isn't funny. <laughs> I'd like to be in that wedding ceremony. To death do you part? Friday? Yeah, sure. That's hey, terrible. Hello, Nana. Hello, Grandad. He's talking about meeting your relatives in heaven. Hello, uncle who used to touch me. <laughs> How did you get up here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You used to work for the church. That's wrong. That's wrong, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. They had around one time things you would say that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. And I said, if we're all here, who's looking after Madeline? Huh? I didn't get it. I think global warming is a myth, like World War II and women's rights. <laughs> no, you didn't. Bro, this is on television, ain't it? Bro. <laughs> how, do they, how do they get away with this? My opinion, for what it's worth. I think you know a girl is too young for you if you're having to make the aeroplane noise to get your cock in her mouth. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why the 20 most offensive jokes by Jimmy Carr I can't find anymore. Because YouTube was like, no, we're done, brother. We're done. Oh. I, I'm, I'm about to start. I'm, I'm about to cry. That's my only reaction. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. Here comes the train into the tunnel. Jimmy. Famous last word. Stingrays love foreplay. Man, nah, that ain't funny. I'll bet you I can jump that ticket barrier. <laughs> People say dolphins are really intelligent. I think, yeah, but only compared to the retarded kids we got them swimming with. On the subject of abortions, a lot of people support a woman's right to choose. But I think, if I'm paying for it... <laughs> I'm joking, I never pay. <laughs> doesn't cost anything to fall down the stairs, does it? Bruh. 
Bro. Some of these girls, I swear, they think I'm made of coat hangers. <laughs> imagine. It, I just want you to imagine if a, his special, he just had a special come out on Netflix in 2022. Just like two months ago, all right? Two months ago, Jimmy Carr had a special come out on Netflix. And he says that joke. He's canceled. He's done. Like, cancel culture is getting, he is erased from history. Bruh. That's... I mean, it's funny. It's funny. I'm just saying, it, this could not pass this year. Like, today, th these jokes could not pass if they were recently done. They say there's safety in numbers. Yeah? Tell that to six million Jews. <laughs> I say cancel culture with canceling. I don't think he would care. I don't, I don't. If you say, if you, if you just say stuff like this, you don't care. Really, London? Really? A round of applause? Wow. Wow. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. <laughs> I know it's on Anna's forehead, but do you see the date? That's when I'm recording this. I've recorded my videos like the day before. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Bruh. What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow I don't think you will be. <laughs> what is this show? Well, it, it reminds me of like whose line is it anyways? Who's what is this show? Is that is that it? I don't know. Ninety nine percent of women kiss with their eyes closed, which is why it's so difficult to identify a rapist. <laughs> wow. Let's have a little time out there <laughs> and discuss the rules of the game. Yeah, time out, bro. Skating out here. I I've got this image of all these record producers coming up to her and going. <laughs> So, Kylie, we're doing this new rave thing, and it's like this 80s synthesizer, and her just going, Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And you've got to wear, like, this uh, futuristic roller skating outfit. Oh, yeah, all right. That sounds, that sounds fine. How much am I getting paid for this? Oh, $10 million. Ten. Oh, I'll put that in my savings account. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a baby. Oh, that's a... oh. oh, how could he? Wow. How could you, Tim Minchin? Apparently Jordan and Peter Andre are fighting each other over custody of Harvey. Although eventually one of them will lose and have to keep him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I have a theory that Jordan married a cage fighter because she needed someone strong enough to stop Harvey from fucking her. <laughs> it's my last tour and I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> listen, listen. There is there should be no video on this planet that says offensive jokes in it without Frankie Boyle and Jimmy Carr. They're just shouldn't. They're really shouldn't, bro. Oh my goodness. I need like a I, I need a video of just Jimmy Carr versus Frankie Boyle and just see let's see which one's worse. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to do it for the most offensive jokes. Ever. Those were those were pretty bad. Those were some of the most offensive jokes I've ever heard. Y'all let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. And again, you can click that blue button that says join to join the new JT Reacts channel membership. You're gonna get exclusive videos, exclusive perks, a bunch of stuff, bro. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fire. I cannot wait to share some of the videos I have planned with y'all. So click that blue button to join. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I go out today. Spread love, spread kindness, do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT Reacts, I'm out. Peace.